Mimi ni Josh Onsare mwanahabari wa TV47 na vile vile Radio 47. Kuna haya masuala ambayo yamejitokeza hivi majuzi na nakumbuka kwamba we Mheshimiwa Rais ulisema kwamba unabuni serikali ambayo ni broad based na tumeweza kuona katika baraza jipya la mawaziri wale ambao wameteuliwa umeweza kuwateua wale viongozi kutoka upinzani. Labda swali ambalo ningependa kujua je hii ni mbinu ya kumaliza upinzani na je watatekeleza the plan ambayo wamekuwa wakipinga ambayo ulikuwa unaizungumzia wakati wa kampeni kwenda mbele asante thank you very much um, broad based government i think that's your big question let me say this because of the challenges and the issues that came up in the last couple uh, of weeks going into one month, I committed to the country that I am going to form a broad-based government. And many people are asking me to explain, as on Saturday I saying, what is this broad-based government? It is broad-based government. That's what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> because, you know, <laughs> <clears throat> because, you know, there has been this feeling that maybe this government is made of William Ruto's friends, right? And, and William Ruto's uh, buddies. And I said, it is time, you know, I have friends. And, and I, I've, I've seen many people ask me, okay, why did you, you know, dismiss the whole cabinet? And then you hired some back. Let me answer it this way. It was necessary to have a fresh start because as I told the people of Kenya, we are going to have a broad-based government and we are going to have a fresh start. So that even those I have given another opportunity to serve in cabinet, they must now know that uh, this is new. The terms are different. We may have been friends, but now the terms are different. Number two, I also uh, wanted other people to join in government because for a long time as Kenyans we have, we've been divided on sides and that's why I decided this time around let me form an administration that has the broader face of Kenya and that is why you see some of the members of uh, my new cabinet coming from different formations political formations and I and, and I said I'm going to consult. And I'm going to talk to people who are, who are willing to talk to me. There are those who did not want to talk to me, and that's fine. That's democracy. There are those whom we sat down and we agreed with, and we agreed on their agenda. What are we going to do? In fact, at some point, I was having a conversation, and the conversation went like, okay, the housing program. The housing program was in the manifesto of ODM and was in the manifesto of Kenya Kwanzaa. True? They're all there. The UHC program, it was on both sides of the divide. There are things that are common between us. And my question is, those things that we have no contest about, can we agree on those things and move the country forward on the things that are not in contention between the sides? And that is how we agreed with ODM to work on the broad-based government that captures some of the items that we all agree on. Number two, let me clarify, as the party leader of ODM did, that we did not form a coalition government so that nobody should tell us we are trying to compromise the opposition. We did not form, we have no formal coalition arrangement. What we have is running an administration on matters that we have agreed, members of ODM uh, who have agreed to come and work with us so that we can put the country first and be able to deal with the challenges that brings Kenya to where it is, whether it is our housing plan, whether it is matters to do with UHC and all the other items that we agree on as a nation are important to the people of Kenya. I am not very keen on who takes the credit. 
I am keen on the transformation of Kenya. So this is uh, uh, what, I can, uh, what I can tell you about, about that arrangement. My name is Kadra Hussein from More Radio. Mr. President, allow me to just ask a follow-up question on what uh, my colleague has asked. Um, you say that uh, you consulted from different political formation. From what we have as a people, the people who are on the streets, streets did not have T-shirts printed with political parties, you know, identification. Neither did they uh, carry banners that had colors of representation of a political party. So in your broad-based government, as you have said, you've consulted and you've also uh, had people from ODM working with you. Where is the interest of the people being featured in your broad-based government as they are the ones who prompted us to have this change that we are having right now? Now, to my question, uh, I want us to just take, a, to take time back, you know, from the inception of the Kenya Kwasna government, when you took the oath of office, you promised to protect the constitution of Kenya and ensure that the justice system functions well, you protect the rule of law. Uh, when you were making your statement on Wednesday, if I'm not wrong, you told us about amendments of some few clauses of the constitution including Public Finance Management Act. You also talked about witness, uh, something to do with that. That is an act of, uh, in the Constitution of Kenya. But the populace has this question. Why would we talk about amendments? Why? Those very clauses that we have in the Constitution are not being respected. And also, would you hit to the pressure that right now we are actually seeing 14 Kenyans have moved to the courts, courts actually asking for the ouster of you, Mr. President. Mm -hmm. What do you have to say about that? Thank you very much. The 14 Kenyans who have gone to court are exercising their democratic right. That is how free this country is. That you can actually go to any court and demand uh, whatever you want in court. That is the taste of the freedom that I stand for in Kenya. And I want to promise you that those Kenyans who have gone to court for whatever reason, they are free to do it, and the courts are free to make whatever decision that is, constitu that is constitutional. You have asked me, I think, 10 questions. Let, let me try and answer uh, some of them. Number one, you have asked me, the people who went to the streets, they did not carry the color of any political party. That is correct. But remember, they carried the flag of Kenya. And that is why I'm saying, let us put the interest of the people of Kenya first. That is why I'm saying this broad-based government must be a government that must do, at the very least, three things and I stated them in my address to the nation. Number one is the subject of integrity, which you have spoken very clearly about, dealing with the challenge of cor corruption. 